The U.S. now is also a net exporter of petroleum products, exporter. And importantly, there has been a shift in the sources of our liquid energy imports. Uh, last year, imports from our uh, Canadian friends and neighbors to the north uh, matched imports from the entire Middle East. Again, if I say that to my constituents, they say, that can't be true, because we've been saying so long that, uh, that it hasn't been that way. But uh, factor in the oil imported from Mexico, and then more than 75 percent, more than 75 percent of our petroleum demands in the U.S. in 2012 was fulfilled by North American production. Uh, and these shifts have had enormous consequences for U.S. trade and for our, uh, our national security interest, and it may allow for increasing harmonization between U.S. foreign policy ideals and uh, practice, especially with respect to the Middle East and to troublesome regimes right here in our own Western Hemisphere, like Venezuela. Uh, the success of the last eight years in reducing our dependence on oil from unstable or unsavory uh, sources can be further cemented, no pun intended, and expanded with an agreement finally on the Keystone XL pipeline. Uh, this important project, all of us know, would increase uh, predictable sources of oil imports from Canada, while also providing an important means of transporting newly economical domestic deposits in Montana and in the Dakotas to our own Gulf Coast for refining. What a difference that would make in our daily lives and in our national security.